hey guys so today is going to be a special video because i am going to shoot this video both in english as well as in malayalam so for the first time in our channel we'll have two videos coming out simultaneously in both the languages so uh, what i'm planning to do today is i have some free time till afternoon uh, so couple of my meetings got cancelled um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take out the rd and try to fix the um, head stud which is there uh, which is causing the head to leak and the rd to run funny so most likely we'll have to take out the left cylinder completely and then start uh, checking on what is wrong so i also had bought this um, helicoil set very long time ago so what this helps us doing is it will help us uh, put the threads back uh, into that hole which is presently missing the thread so uh, all the threads got stripped in that so what i'll do is i'll take out the uh, cylinder and check uh, if the hole is not too big if it is of this size then probably we'll put a thread and uh, we'll use the same helicoil to uh, you know give a sample to the uh, lathe and get a new uh, head stud made so that is my plan and hopefully it works uh, so yeah let's get into it we'll get the rd out we will move it uh, somewhere over here this is where i have some space uh, i don't want to move it over there because it might rain so i will take the rd out and put you guys on a tripod So I had to um, go to the lathe and what I have done is I have actually reduced the length of this uh, uh, stud. It was actually uh, a bit more longer like about one and a half inch more longer. So we had to reduce it plus we have to bring the threads uh, till here so that now it can be tightened without putting um, any washers in it. 
Um, another thing is what I've done is I've actually uh, inserted a small sleeve in this which can help us um, tighten this. Um, I'm also going to use Loctite to uh, you know tighten the stud into the sleeve but then if it doesn't work then what we'll have to do is we'll have to take the um, entire top part of this engine this engine has to come apart and we'll have to take the top half of the engine and we'll have to uh, take it to a lathe where this hole can be filled and then uh, a new hole can be drilled into it and then a new stud can be installed so let's hope we do not get there uh, so fingers crossed so i'm going to install this now so now i have applied the loctite and i have inserted the stud in the stud is about half an inch more in than the other studs um, so the loctite that i have applied will take some time to cure so by the time what we'll do is we'll wait and once the loctite is cured then we will install the cylinder back on it uh, till then i think it would be better to leave it alone and not to do anything with it till the time the loctite cures uh, okay so we'll come back to it in some time so I'm going to install the cylinder now. Uh, I'm not going to tighten it, uh, just install it. Uh, so you can see there are small uh, notches here. So this is where you have to place this ring and um, you can compress it so that it gets seated. So there is a similar notch on top also, it's on that side. So I cannot show you. So before uh, you put the cylinder in make sure that you oil the cylinder with 2t oil otherwise what is going to happen is uh, the rings will scratch the inners of the uh, cylinder tighten the bolt I'm hoping that it doesn't leak now let's see so the leak issue is not fixed yet it's slightly leaking so probably what I'll do is I'll tighten this in the night again once the uh, Loctite gets a bit more time to set and then probably we'll try starting it again uh, it's not as bad as what it used to be yesterday but it is still bad um, so yeah we'll try again in the night okay so there is an update guys um, I was able to seal the leak uh, almost 98-99 percent after I changed the head gasket as well so when I uh, put the thread um, the uh, start back it was leaking heavily I could see sparks coming out uh, you know it was pretty dangerous it would have caught fire if we would have taken it out like that uh, but now it is uh, okay so I'll just show you guys how it sounds after the um, head gasket replacement so like you can see uh, it is kind of okay and it is idling as well uh, 
there is a slight play in the uh, accelerator because of which you know it is kind of going down so if I just increase the RPM a bit I have tightened the um, idle screw a bit so now it is idling uh, as you can see it is idling properly smoke is coming from both the sides um, and there is very less amount of leak from here like I cannot feel it if I put my fingers against here but um, it is slightly hot like you can see there is a bit of oil so I think uh, it might have fixed our issue temporarily um, at least you know I can take the bike out without dismantling the engine and take it to a lathe and get this thing fixed so we'll have to plan that um, but I think for the time being it should run so when that would happen I would like to time it in such a way that I get the um, chrome parts also re-chromed so yeah after a hectic day where I thought that I'll be just spending two hours on this I ended up spending more <laughs> but ultimately it's fixed okay um, I hope you enjoyed it if you did like the video please like share and subscribe um, and I'll try to do um, videos in multiple languages in one go so that uh, my viewers from um, non Malayalam speaking regions don't feel alienated uh, so the other two videos are something which are already uh, available in English so that is the reason why I did those um, however if I am doing a story on the RXZ or the RX100 um, or the shoguns which I have sold in the past I'll do both Malayalam as well as English okay so I hope you like the video um, stay in touch wait for the next video thanks a lot bye, -bye.